The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus and his disciples had crossed over, they came to land at Genazaret and moored to the shore. And when they got out of the boat, immediately the people recognized him and ran about the whole countryside and began to bring sick people on their pallets to any place where they heard he was. And wherever he came, in villages, cities, or country, they led the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch even the fringe of his garment and as many as touched it were made well. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So today's Gospel message is about the power of Jesus to heal. And we can say but a word and my servant shall be healed. Sometimes Jesus healed through touching the sick. Sometimes when the sick touched Jesus and we see in today's gospel that even touching the hem of his garments, of his clothes, was sufficient in many cases for people to experience his healing power. So this was something very, very special and very powerful. And it drew many, many followers to Jesus. Even to touch the hem of his garment. And when we hear this, we cannot but think of how our contact with Jesus is so much more than simply touching his clothes. The Eucharist is more than touch. It's on a different and higher level from physical touch. It's on the level we call sacrament. And the healing power of the sacraments, the healing power especially of the Eucharist, begins with the healing of our sins at the beginning of the liturgy. It continues in the healing of our mind as it is refreshed by the Word of God. And it continues yet still in our offering and most of all in union with Jesus, in communion with Jesus. And so our soul, our memories, our passions are all touched in a spiritual way by Jesus in each Eucharist. Our infirmities even, our psychological restrictions and difficulties and contexts, all are touched by Jesus in every Eucharist. And so this teaches us to be sensitive to the healing power of forgiveness from the way we are forgiven, of words, the way the word speaks to us, gestures and touch which can bring comfort to people, bring back respect and a sense of dignity and a true healing for those around us. So this is a priceless gift that is given in the Lord. Today we give thanks for this healing power of Jesus. And perhaps we recall in our own lives how this has worked 
Maybe we haven't even noticed it. But today this gospel awakens us to the very many dimensions of the healing power of this sacrament we are now celebrating. Amen. Amen.